So the first concept that I wanted to introduce is this idea of capturing high impact and critical alerts um, for your team as we're building out this baseline for visibility. So if you've never set up an alert rule before, we're gonna do this for the first time for some folks, maybe everyone else has seen this, but I'll move through these sections fairly quickly. And of course you can always ask questions as we're going along. So I'm gonna assign my team to being responsible for just the maintenance of this alert, so to speak. And we'll just title this as um, critical uh, issues or critical issue for now. So you can set conditions within this issue alert, and we're gonna be focused on two specifically uh, for capturing issues that we deem critical. So for now, we're going to look at the number of events in an issue. So again, events come in from the SDK and they're grouped into these unique issues, which we're leveraging right now. And we're gonna select at least for now, some numbers that may seem arbitrary because they are, um, the number of events in an issue is more than 50 in 15 minutes. And we're gonna focus on another one. Sentry also many SDKs, um, depending on which flags you've configured, also collect information that allows us to assess impact based on end users. Uh, so in this case, we're gonna look at users affected by the issue, and we're just gonna specify uh, 20 for this and say in 15 minutes. Okay, so that's it. We've set up a condition that essentially captures what we're thinking as a critical or high impact issue based on the number of events associated with an issue and the number of end users impacted. Now, what can we do as far as making this actionable? What modality should we choose here? That all depends on your current alerting strategy, which hopefully you know, you're thinking about now, but what we encourage at Sentry is if, if it's available, if it's part of your strategy to lean on the integration platform for maximizing actionability as you're going through your alerting strategy. So in this case, we're gonna lean on Slack notification for a particular workspace. And we're gonna send this to a critical channel that we have in this Slack workspace. And just to keep things you know, fairly straightforward for now, this is it. So now when an issue comes in and breaches these thresholds, our team is gonna be alerted directly um, based on, again, number of users impacted and the, the frequency of events that comprise this issue within a set, within a set time frame. All that's required at this point is just saving and now we've added this rule and we've sort of started to create that baseline for visibility.